Hi there. Now, if you'd like to have a go at this question here, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll run slowly through the work solution, or you might want to fast forward just to check your solution against mine. Okay, so just give you a moment then to pause the video. Okay, well, let's just copy that integral down. We've got then the integral of the natural log of x, all divided by x times 1 plus the natural log of x, all squared. And we're integrating with respect to x, and we're told to use this substitution. So I'm assuming then that you're familiar with integration by substitution. If not, do check out my videos on this. So we're given then that u equals 1 plus the natural log of x. And what we would want to do next is to differentiate this with respect to x. So therefore we'd have du by dx would equal, differential 1 is 0, but the differential natural log of x is going to be 1 over x. Now there's two ways that we can approach integration by substitution. And uh, you might have been shown one of these methods. I'll take you through them. We've got here this integral. Let's just write it in, okay, as the natural log of x then divided by x times 1 plus the natural log of x, and that's squared. Now, in place of dx, we could go for this version, dx du integrated with respect to u. It's as if those du's cancel out and just give us that dx back here. And so if that's the method that you want to use, then you'd need to invert this, okay? From here, you'd get dx by du would equal x, okay, if we reciprocate both sides. So I could just substitute into this equation here. We've got the natural log of x, which if I rearrange this equation here, is equal to u minus 1. So I could put u minus 1 there. And then underneath here, let's just leave that x there. But for 1 plus the natural log of x here, that's u. So I've got x times u squared. All right? And in place of dx du, I could just write x and then we've got that du there. And that's one way that we could achieve this result. The other way that you might have been shown is not to do this, but just to make a substitution on dx. And if that was the case, then you can see that from here, dx would be equal to x times du. And if I replace dx, with x du, you can see that whatever way you go, you're going to end up with this integral. All right, so picking it up from there, what I notice now is that this x cancels with this x here. So I've got the integral then of u minus 1 divided by u squared. And to integrate this, what I'm going to do is think of this as u divided by u squared, which would cancel to 1 over u. And then we've got minus 1 over u squared, which is minus u to the minus 2. And I'm integrating both these two terms with respect to u. Now the integral of 1 over u is the natural log of u. And then the integral of u to the minus 2, if we add 1 to the power, we've got minus u to the power minus 1, and divide by that power minus 1. And not forgetting the constant of integration, plus c. And now all we need to do is substitute back for u. So we've got here the natural log of the mod of u, which is 1 plus the natural log of x. And then for this term, this is plus u to the minus 1, or plus 1 over u. So we've got here plus 1 over, and then we've got 1 plus the natural log of x. And then we've got the constant of integration, plus c. Okay?